Guys, last time we ended at rank 5 <laughs> when streaming. I haven't played for almost a week, so yeah, the ladder, ladder obviously went up. But yeah, let's see, uh, see if we can get some cool recordings in with this theme. Okay, 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 okay. It uh, looks like a scary team. Looks like a scary team indeed. Um, obviously, Berloom is going to be a scary one, of course. Um, I'm not sure if Garchomp or Metagross is a style broker. I'm just going to make this play. doesn't have spikes on this team, so I can kind of make use of that. He leads up with Breloom. He leads up with Breloom. Not sure. He's probably going to click Spore on me to turn on turn one. Um, I must I'll still make this Karma replay then. Looks a bit tough. Looks a bit tough to match up. We'll see. We actually go straight for Bullet Seed. It's me. What's new? <laughs> I am just gonna burn a sleep turner on. What? The fuck? <laughs> Wait. I can't just pray for you, bro. What are you doing, man? I got on my rock, so. I guess he doesn't have. Okay. He doesn't have. Um... Interesting. He doesn't have spore. It's gonna be focus sash. Gonna rock to me probably. Uh, do I lose if I lose this? I have Jellison still, which I can take on the majority. I'm just gonna roost. As he clicks Mock Punch, does that kill me? It does, but he's gonna die, and I don't have to lock myself. I don't have to lock myself into anything. I'm gonna go Jellison. Um, like the worst matchup is probably a Dragon. Uh, Chandelure can be annoying, but Chandelure comes in on rocks, so I'll take that. And I have a Mian Chao waiting. If it was one of the physical attackers, I would have been in a good position. Um, he's just going to click Energy Ball. And... I don't want to U-turn there, but I'm going to Rock Slide in case he stays in. I'm not sure. Those Metagross, which I should be faster than, but... I'm not sure what kind of Metagross we're facing here. 8.3 from Rock Slide. Let's see if that's max HP. Uh, actually a different team hold up let me put this into the into the thingy guys what is this this in the cockle I, I just need to know if that's an offensive or that gross 50 rock slide I did this max HP, I think 8.3. Yeah, that has to be max HP, so I should be. F well, I don't see leftovers. I should be faster, but if I lose this, it's actually, it's actually horrible. I'm gonna make the jealous and play. There's still a possibility of him being scarved, and I literally lose if me and Shao die, so let's not do that. He goes for rocks. I can just throw off a skull there. Uh, I think that's better than Willow Wisping here. In case he goes Chandelure. I mean, if I Dragon comes in, that's fine too. Um, I got up. I got up Rock's damage for Chandelure anyway. Chandelure might be Scarfed as well. I could have easily U-turned though, but um, if if he for some reason he was Scarfed on this, and that speeds me. Oh, okay. It's just. A, it is just this set, it's a psychic set, uh, and then that's fine. The... He's gonna recover here. He's 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 hundred percent swapping here, but because he is psychic, Jellicent is the important member of my team. Uh, Metagross is gonna die to my. Me and Shao in a 2 hit KO later on. It's not Bullet Punch. His safest play is Hydreigon, of course. He wants to swap, unless he wants to risk a burn on either Garchomp or Scissor. Yeah. So I get off my HP. My HP back, basically. And we're going into the Me and Shao here. 
There's no leftovers on him, so that's kind of scary. If that's specs, and he has Dragon Pulse, that's going to be really scary. The issue here is my Weavile doesn't really beat his team with a Scizor, Metagross, and a Scar Chandelure when I lock myself into a nice type attack. I ri that's why I ri that's why I was a that's why I didn't stay in with my Mian Shao against the Metagross in case he was scarfed for some reason. You only doing 27 here though. Um I'm gonna you turn here, actually. It's Metagross again. Oh, get up my U-turn. Get some HP back, that's a crit. Get in my Gly score uh, to activate my orb. And Assuming he has Icy Wind on this. I kind of want to Spike here. Kind of do. But I don't want to take the damage here. Uh, having HP on this might be really important. He does end up going into Hydreigon, which I am going to click Toxic on now. Because if he does, he want does he want to taunt me? Like, what does he want to do? If he taunts me and I go me and Shao, that's just horrible for him. Like I I might always go uh, me and Shao. Maybe I could have spiked here, but. I, I think Hydreigon is probably the biggest... Yeah. Like, why? Okay. It's not like it makes a difference, because I'm just healing your H... I'm healing your damage literally back. But yeah, it's probably... I don't know if it's Taunt Roost. If it, maybe it's... If it's Taunt Blood, then... Uh, I don't even have to predict against him. And I'm just always going to U-turn there. As he reveals Roost, so that's really good to know. So, this is the Taunt Roost one. And seeing how bad my Clefable actually is. Against this team, I'm gonna go Clefable. Scissor beats me. Another kind of beats me. I'm gonna throw up an Ice Beam here. Keeping him low. Keeping him low. Um, just have to be a bit careful about the, this guy. But I I always, I always have a chance to freeze something. Even if Scizor or Chandler comes in. He does decide to bring in Shen Shandy. Boom. Quite some damage to him there. And I'm just going to click Thunderbolt in case he tricks me. I don't want to get tricked on me and Shao. Because I want it to be able to switch in. And like I said, I don't really need my Clefable. And now he's just going to die to Rock. So, And he gets paralyzed. Oh, that's awesome. Um... I think for the positioning, though, it's better to go me and show here. Because I'm going to lock myself into Thunderbolt. I don't know what kind of guard jump this is. But no, 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 no. It's just Thunderbolt. Even even if Garchomp comes in, I think even if Garchomp comes in, I think this is still uh, the more reliable play for me. Um, if he's banded, that could be annoying. If he's substitute, I don't really care. I think we just stay in there. Candler dies to rocks anyway. If he's banned, I'm going to take too much damage with this. Like, and now close combat is just a free move against this team. I don't have to worry about Chandler coming in on me. Let me just Thunderbolt there. As he goes High Dragon. Oh, uh, that's cool. This forces him to click Roost, so I'll take it. I can actually keep my Pokemon alive, which is really cool. And his only play is literally to go into Chandelure here. I'm actually gonna make the Gliscor play. Just for the positioning, because I beat Metagross. Um, Scissor doesn't necessarily beat me straight straight up, doing it this way. And 
I'm, I'm not losing any HP, but most importantly, I don't instantly lose to Garchomp. Because <laughs> if I have Mianchou in for just Garchomp, we have no information on him. If he's banded, um, I cannot take the damage. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm literally not predicting here, bro. Like, what you did was unnecessary. <laughs> what you did was unnecessary, so... Let me try to spike up there. I don't know if he wants to taunt here. Like, I'm not taking any damage here, but he is... He keeps doubling, and now I get a free spikes against him. Which means... Metagross is now dead when he switches out, so I can just Earthquake here. Oh, he's Custer Berry. Um, Custer Berry. Doesn't really matter, though. I'm still... Really bulky. But I guess that... That was what he was aiming for. It's fine. I still have to rely on Jellison beating his scissor anyway, so I'll take it. This is an earthquake resist, though. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go Clefable. Actually, I should have should have gone Jellison. What what am I doing? I should have gone Jellison. Uh, this sucks. Uh, this this is not good. I should have gone Jelly. But maybe I can bait the close commit uh, or something. Maybe I can bait the close commit. Acrobatics, fuck. Yeah. Well, I was gonna die to that regardless, I guess. I just lost. That's that's not good. I just lost. Damn, I didn't think my Jellison would die. Okay. Yeah, that's the... Uh... Annoying thing about the Berloom Skarmory combo. I didn't realize I was so weak to that. Maybe he doesn't have a uh, close commit then. Guess the only way I can win if I, if I freeze him there. Maybe he doesn't have close commit, I don't know. Only way I can win is if I freeze, literally. Oh, shit! <laughs> I've been blessed. I've been blessed. <laughs> Damn, bro. I've been blessed. I just earthquake twice. No longer disabled. Bullet punch. How much does Bullet Punch even do when boosted? Like without an without an item. Seventy. Okay, so he would. St then I would still go for this. Okay, he thought that's unfortunate. Yeah, I I don't have enough damage, fortunately. Yeah, because he, he was going to knock me out of plus two. Um, on my glide score, actually. Oh, did I cook that wrong? 45. Nah, it, it, it would have it would have been a roll. I should have protected. Fuck. <laughs> I cocked it wrongly. I, I cocked it wrong. I should have protected. Because there's no way sword dancing there. No, that sucks. Almost. Almost. But yeah, I didn't realize my uh, my Jellison would die to acrobatics, uh, but I, I guess that's just my uh, my fault. Kind of destroyed him whole game, and then Scissor sets up, and then I lose. I <laughs> guess. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, the Costa Berry kind of got me. Um, I guess there was a reason he went for that. Uh, maybe in response, I should have just earthquaked him there, but I don't think it would have mattered. I just lose anyway. Um, yeah, unfortunate one, guys. <laughs> oh, we almost we almost stole that game, but yeah, what like what am I? I with my jealous. I I had to deal with both Berloom and um, 
I have to deal with both Reloom and Scizor. Eh, yeah, Skarmory can only deal with one. Um, so in that sense, I was hoping Jellicent could beat him, but uh, plus two Acrobatics just knocked me out. It was after Rockstar, but yeah.
I just realized my mic wasn't working. What the fuck? Oh my god, I wasn't- I just realized my mic wasn't working. Are you kidding me? Um, so... Weaval is needed. Get on my spikes. I'm just gonna Dragon Pulse here. Yeah, I figured. Still killed me. Still killed me, though. But, let's go into this. Go for the CC here. If it's Metagross... If he goes Metagross here, by the way... Um, that means... Okay. He lets I Dragon die, so I actu this actually means I can let my... Um, Mian Shao die. It's pretty good. Loom comes in. Jellicent is needed to kill Metagross, of course. I let him mug. Already fine, because I just forced him out there. He's going to take another burn pick. And I get in this. And he can only bring in Breloom after he lets something die. Because if he doubles, he's going to take the burn damage as well. I guess he can, but he doesn't kill me. Being burned and a focus sash, so... I just need to him to... I just need to force him out. I can just go into my Jellicent. And I just have to stay healthy. Doesn't matter if he gets Psychic drops versus me. It only... I haven't seen his guard jump in action. I haven't seen his guard jump in action at all. I'm just gonna try to Whisper. As he clicks Toxic. So this is a defensive jump, which... At this point... I just burnt. Let's focus slash defensive, I guess. We just call there. If Metagross dies, I win with Weavile. And he lets Breloom die, so that's cool too, I guess. So then, because what is he gonna do? Is he gonna bring in Garchomp again? Which is gonna take. Quite some damage from spikes. Is he gonna bring in Metagross? Help me beat it. Gonna recover here. As he reveals Earthquake. Okay. So the poison is a bit wrecking up here, but now that I kinda have the gist of it. Hmm. Ah, that could have been better. <laughs> Is he scarfed? Is he actually scarfed? I think he's. I think he's toxic. Steldrock, scarf, earthquake, dragon claw. I don't think it's Sash. Is that that guy is way too bulky, I think. Scald Scald only doing 27. Yeah, I think he <laughs> he's scarred. I get off my recover, and now I can literally just sag my Weavile to reset the poison. And he's gonna take uh, a lot of sp 
Because I got two layers of spikes up, which were helping me a lot versus him. I just lost there. Like, that scissor didn't have close combat, so he wasn't touching my uh, my guy at all. Actually, I don't need to, because this is not... Well, this is Custa Berry, actually. Yeah, it's Custa Berry. I think, I think it's better to switch here. Because if... Because of the Custa Berry, I can actually lose. He goes for Psychic. Now he's in Custa range. I'm gonna Ice Shard here. Making sure I get some damage on him. As he activates his Custa Berry and he's gonna die to the next Burn Tick. And I wasn't sure if I was slower or faster. But I don't think that matters here. He's gonna go into Jelly. And we're just clicking recover. Because I want him dying to the burn. And like he can complain of course. Uh, yeah you got the burn on my Breloom. But you switched in. A Breloom to my Bre to my Jellison. So. You know. From there you know full well. Yeah, let's just win this game. Metagross dying to burn. Cool. Goodbye. And see you later. <laughs> see you guys. Check out my, check out my Patreon for the team. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. And peace out.